Hey, it's uh, Matt and it's Valentine's Day. So, uh, if you got your significant other something, even just remember it. I don't think it really matters on the price, even if you just remember that it's Valentine's Day. That can go a long way. But being Valentine's Day, I wanted to do a video about how I fell in love with bushcraft. Now, I love my wife, I love my family, I love my friends. That's all well and good. But this is how I learned to love myself. And what I mean by that is, um, there was a period in my life where I had the rug jerked out from underneath me. Uh, I had some health issues, I was going blind, nerve issues, everything, you know. And it ate at me. It ate at my self-confidence. Because it was like, damn, man, I have all this shit wrong with me. You know? So, um, I'm like, well, I've always enjoyed the woods. I've always been pagan. Not always, but for the majority of my life, I was pagan. So I went to the woods, and I knew how to do things, but... I always had a supply train and what I mean by that is I always had a safety net I didn't know how to make cordage at the time I didn't know how to flint nap I didn't know herbology I didn't know how to take the surrounding environment and make what I needed because I always had it or something that would work so I started going to these schools and taking these classes and getting into the community and people were welcomed me with open arms and I'm talking about famous instructors would take the time to counsel me to walk me through things to always encourage me always and I would go and practice or I would practice, you know, and I would, I got so obsessed with it that I would lay in bed at night time and literally wander. I would be laying there, you know, looking at nothing going, why does my feather sticks look like shit? I mean, that's what I was focused on. And I would talk to these experts and they would walk me through how to adjust the angle and, you know, all these little tips that you know, you don't just grasp. So, time goes by, I take more classes, more demonstrations. You know, I develop a community with these people. And it's to the point to where, you know, we asked about each other's family. Um, asked how we're doing. And, um, you know, go to each other's houses. So, time progresses. And I get to where I'm like, well, it's time to piss or get off the pot. You know, how far, you know, am I ready to teach? So, you know, I was tucked to these instructor courses and, and you know, build up my skill level. And finally, <laughs> I don't know why this is significant, but I you know, past all the instructor courses and everything, and I'm sitting there, and I realize my feather sticks no longer look like shit. Now, I have my days, but for the most part, that you know, they don't. So, skip ahead a little bit, and, you know, from that time, you know, skip ahead a little bit. And I'm doing a demonstration on primitive fire, and, you know, when you do a demonstration on bow drills or hand drills and kids see it, they look at you like it's amazing. Well, there was a father and son at the demonstration. And I was watching, I was paying particular attention to them because the kid was looking at me doing it and then looking at his dad. Well, his dad finally gets it that it, it just works and that kid went from looking at me 
to in amazement and looking at his dad like he's Zeus and all of a sudden I was a rack of yard tools at Sears if you get that reference that's points and I was like yeah that is a good because that kid's hero is now his father and you know people see when I post my glass napping or my flint napping or um, fire making you know whatever they don't see the 20 bottles that didn't break right they didn't see the stone that you know right when I was almost finished you know like flaked all the way across you don't you know no one posts that like if I do a bow drill fire hand drill fire or a firebird or friction you know whatever you know humidity takes a you know takes a toll in it the proper materials like I'm gonna if I when I do a demonstration I'm gonna have my set that I know is proven I want to know the humidity of the tail, the humidity for the past two weeks. I want to know this because once I do it, I don't want to look like a failure. Even though we always fail. Like everyone still, like I still fail doing things that I've done a thousand times. But at this point, I can say that I've built up my self-esteem again to the point that I keep on going. And that is why I fell in love with the bushcraft community and that is why I wish people had the community that we have sure you have some assholes sure you have some knife snobs or gear snobs but that's a very insignificant amount of the community that's out there that's willing to share knowledge that's willing to give you tips and tricks, that's willing to, to walk you through your progression. You know? Everyone, everyone, I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, gay, straight, somewhere in the middle, you know, born a boy, born a girl, thinks you're a boy, whatever. I don't care. Everyone can do this you know where I'm at skill wise is nowhere near where my mentor Morris Gohansky was but I'm on that journey and where I'm at and where I'm going you can be there too if you work hard at it you have a community and if you don't reach out, you know, so this is a quick, well, semi-quick rambling video as to why I fell in love with bushcraft and, and primitive skills or ancient earth technology, whatever you want to call it, and why I think you might also so, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below, like, share, do all that fun stuff, but it's not about that. This is my thank you to the bushcraft community. And it's my hoping to welcome you into the bushcraft community. Anything I can help you with, anything at all. Let me know through comments, message me, whatever, and I will walk this journey with you. So, just wanted to say that. Now, I love you. Get outside. Bye.